In this video, we'll go over the process of adding the camera into Samba iFollow software. You can download the software either from our website or from the CD shipped with the camera. Okay, let's first install the program. Now when you open the iFollow software for the first time, it will ask you to create a username and password, which is not the same password for your camera. This is the only the account for the iFollow software itself, in case if you're using a public computer and don't want anyone else to access this program. We've got an error prompt saying port 80 is occupied. This is actually the port if you want to use iFollow as a local server for remote access. You can change it, but if you're using P2P or port forwarding, you don't have to use a port. Now when we get into the program, we should typically be seeing online devices from the lower section and you can just click Add to Client for the next step. In some cases, the program may not be able to identify online devices due to firewall. You can still manually add the camera to the program by clicking Add. You then see this window and please complete all fields. If you don't know the IP address, we've made another video in the auto-checking playlist. The default port value is 8000, default username is admin, and the default password is admin12345, with capitalized A. Make sure you select export group, otherwise the camera cannot be live viewed. If you've already added a camera but failed to export it to a group, you can click group and then click import to add the device into a new group. The function of a group is to better categorizing the cameras. You can rename the group as home, office, or other identifiable features. Then let's go back to the control panel and click main view. Double click the device and you'll be able to watch the live view.